Welcome everyone. I want to show how to set up a Bollinger Motorsports AFR 500 can. Uh, just show the can settings and uh, how to get it set up on a Megasquirt 3. So let's jump over right now. We've got my Megasquirt 3, the EFI source gold light connected. And I'm just going to go over the CAN bus settings for you. So if we go under CAN, we need to go to CAN parameters. And the very first thing we need to do is set the CAN ID to zero. I think that's default. Master enable on uh, Megasquirt CAN 29-bit uh, enable off. We don't need that currently. And then the baud rate is 500K. Um, so just leave that. Um, also, some of these settings, if, if the only thing that you're connecting is this uh, AFR 500 CAN and you don't have anything else on your bus, uh, you may need to also go into tools and go to calibrate AFR table and set your sensor to an AFR 500 can or just AFR 500. I noticed some of the settings um, aren't visible unless you do that and you set your wideband to a CAN bus port. So very first thing I would do is this is actually this is actually for like analog, but I just noticed it, it helped to make sure everything worked correctly. Make sure that's set and then make sure your AF, um, AFR EGO control. Um, sensor type is set to wideband. If you have more than one, you can set that, but I've just got one. And then CAN EGO. So you just set those and uh, we'll move on to the next one. So over here, after you go to CAN parameters, we go to CAN receiving. And these are the important bits. So. Uh, make sure enable can receiving is set to on and enable can sharing data set to on then can bus ego uh, one that's the can wideband channel one set to standard the default hex is um, 0 x 500 um, but that converted to decimal is 1280 so put 1280 in for your decimal offset is zero and then um, this is B2U, which if you come in here, it's big Indian, two byte offset, unsigned. Um, and then multiply by 10 and divide by one uh, is what you need for this to be set up. Um, and let me just double check. Yep, I think everything's good there. And then let's jump over real quick. On your wideband settings for CAN bus, so this CAN, EGO, and GPS, just set this to generic. And I think this setting was where I wasn't able to see all of these drop down options until in the CAN EGO um, control, I set it to uh, CAN EGO instead of analog. So uh, just, yeah, generic CAN EGO fetch, then off, off, off. That's that. And I think. Let me make sure everything else is good. Yep, under CAN parameters, EGO, uh, I'll put them all side by side so you can take a look if you want to have them all next to each other. But basically, this is um, all you need to do. And uh, I've got, I don't have the sensor in the car running, but I have it here. So um, I can turn it on and show you real quick. Let me just plug it in. So I'm actually going to turn this off. And we're going to turn it back on. And you'll see right down here in a second, it'll say can RX is active. That's kind of a big uh, giveaway that you're actually getting input. Uh, if you don't have that can receiving enabled on the can parameters, you won't see it. But it takes a second. It's going to boot up. And um, you'll see this AFR gauge, see it go up. Can RX is active. And then this will jump up to like 16 to 1 here in just a second because the sensor is just in open air. And so it's seeing all the oxygen. So anyway, I uh, hope this helps somebody who's got an AFR 500 and wants to do some Megascort stuff. This is by far one of my favorite uh, wide bands that I've ever worked with. Bollinger Motorsports is awesome. They have awesome customer service. They've got a little tool that you can plug in USB and uh, update the firmware. And um, 
change any of the settings. Uh, I just set all these to default on mine. Um, and the default settings are what I've, I've given you here today. So anyway, uh, thanks for watching. And if you like this, subscribe and uh, we'll get doing some more stuff. See you soon.